We're coming live from the command center of the JW Solar USA here in Minnesota. Guys, this is uh, the Pat 2 with the Magnum Energy with the, uh, we're going to be going uh, charging like you saw the Pat 1 already. We're going to be using the, the extra distribution power center. This will be um, extra power distribution center box so we can see how we can able to charge today for the first time we're going at a 240 charge so here we gonna we already have this guy here which is gonna um, um, work like this guy but this is just the older model you can see how you can tell the advanced and non-advanced this is sure okay this is the M E A R C M E R C 50 M E A R 50 M E R C 50 this is the advanced see see this it says um fav he has a favorite you can do a lot of things you customize and all the stuff so what we're gonna do is see magnum makes it easier um, for connections if you want to connect just look down here it's a color coordination so it tells you for everything where you're supposed to plug it even if you can't read you can go according to the uh, thing so even the cords it says right there remote blue so we plug it on the blue okay right there okay it's right there green it tells you what it is red for stacking yellow temperature sensor green is for network blue is the remote okay all right so guys what I did I just improvise here quick so I can able to do whatever I want to do at the time as you can hear, it turns on automatically on search mode. So, um, this guy is the, um, this is the uh, router. It's not even connected yet, but we want to test. These systems are all running on the same battery, uh, battery bank, but totally independent right now. So, I want to see if I can use this for... 200 volt AC charging the system, the batteries here with this using this uh, remote right now to see how everything works with that without disconnecting the system. Okay, we're not going to disconnect the system, we just want to charge right now, but none of the AC is tied into these devices none of the uh, AC output is tied nothing it's to just be like a charger charger that's what I'm gonna do so we're gonna flip the switch at 240 volt here and let's check here the specs first and see we have it on 30 amp so if it's a 30 amp we are on a 20 amp breaker AC 240 volt Okay, um, I might probably dial this guy down. If I want to put a 20, I can just put so just just a test. Okay, and all our parameters are set. It's still on custom. Okay. All right, for some reason, um, it's reading at 29.8, and this one here is seen at um, 30.2. So I don't know because of maybe age or whatever, advance and whatever it is. So guys, um, this is what it is. So we're gonna try and uh, initialize the 240 volt. Stay tuned. Initializing the power.
you can see we initialize the power right here. It's going to flicking. There we go. 240. We're charging on 240. Two legs. It's coming up right away. There we go. You can hear the buzz on the back. So we put in over 100 amps. So check this out. This guy doesn't know anything what's going on here. Okay. Because nothing is tied into the BMK or whatever. It doesn't know. So now we're seeing register about 80 something, 85 amps DC coming in. This uh, That's what we already took from the batteries. So that's what he's seeing. But this guy's not the one doing the charge. Okay. So that's why we are seeing at 81%. It doesn't register here anything. It's just pushing back the power. So it's like it's, it doesn't know where the power is coming from. Okay, it doesn't know. So this guy here is showing us this. Okay, he's showing us here, which um, it doesn't have the battery uh, uh, monitor kit, so it doesn't read to tell you what status or what power coming in. You can only see on the main screen, which is here. Okay, so it's putting 111. That's all he knows. That's all. So our test is successful and we're ramping up the power. The BMK here is just telling that um, it's pulling currently something like this, but it doesn't know where the power is coming from. But it can read on the other side. See? And this amp hour is going to be dropping. This is the one that we already took from the batteries. We're replacing it back with the 240 uh, configuration. So this is what we're doing right now, the JW Solar USA. I hope um, it makes sense. It's just a try and error. So that's what we're doing right here. Stay tuned. Maybe we can go back and add it instead of 20 amps and see. We might probably pop the breaker and put it into 30 amp. Here, at 240. Let's see what we're going to be bringing here. If you look at the, uh, the amp hours we took from the battery, it's already replaced about an amp. It's now 53. Okay. It's going to be going down rapidly. Guys, you see what's happening now? The amp hours are dropping from the batteries. We're replacing back the, the power we already took. And this guy is still ramping up the power here. And we are running at 120 volt here output. And this inverter here is not doing anything. All it does act like a charger. And that's all it does. It's just charging the batteries. So I just want to show you, you can able to use a 240 charging capability um, if that's what you want to do. So I can install this inverter. One of them will run a 240. And this one is just going to be running 120. If I want to, they can be like a dual uh, system. So independent system, that's the word. This is running 120 and that one is running 240. And it's going to be charging on 240, a rapid charge and charging the same battery bank simultaneously or respectively. So these are all just scenarios that I'm trying. Um, I want other people to see and how you can able to uh, manipulate the system. 
your solar system for anything you want to do. So right now I can run them both of them independently. This side, this side here gonna be like a 120 setup for 120 loads, which is a four kilowatt and four kilowatt on 240. I can able to do that. Um, like this one running the air conditioner, the furnace, and all that kind of stuff. The one over there, inverter number two, the one right there, right there, the new one, right there, can run. A 240 direct can charge 240 direct and while this one is just running uh, 120 and it's not the one doing the charge but both of them are running simultaneously on different voltages so I just want to bring it up to you guys I hope you find this video interesting and if you do uh, share your ideas with me and uh, uh, tell me what you think and Magnum if you're watching and this is what I've been doing to your system. Uh, kind of manipulate the system a little bit. Uh, look again here. So we re we're falling gradually, replacing the power so fast. Uh, now it's 80, 48 amp hours left. And we are bringing here 100 and... Uh, 111 constantly charging the batteries from this inverter that runs the 240 you can see the wire right there you can see this other one is wired only on 120 so they are all running on the same battery bank respectively so guys this is what it is we've done it again a lot of tests I love these tests. <laughs> I love testing stuff, you know. As long as you know what you're doing, it's really cool. It's always cool when you test things um, and everything went well. All right. Okay. Stay tuned for more to come live from this channel. JW Solar USA bringing you all the tests you want to see or you want to know from this channel live in Minnesota. Bye for now.